Day one in the Big Brother apartment. The housemates are all inside the apartment. The sun's not out. The wind's blowing. And the dog from next door has not been into the apartment terrace. Inside of last night's debauchery, a hat, the only reminder that the flatmates are inside. Much easier for the old codgers to walk downhill. This is the view when they get down to the bottom. Lovely sea and swinging round to Rob's flat. But a bit windy today. Robin's love of fish means he's going to take full advantage of this unlikely creature to wash up on the beach. Your hair can be so unpleasant when one's getting older. And God needs to be careful he doesn't get that neck hair caught in the strap of that metal watch that really caused some pain. Yeah, yeah. That's for interest. Yeah. Okay, well, there we go. I've been struggling to get the camera to work. Like, I took that pair filming in the room. Oh, did you take that home? She was to one picture, Judith and Riggs, and the cats, and the rest I took. The dogs are all blurred. No help there then. It's on P. The train in the Sherry Bodega. And there are all the, oh, the train. And there are lots of barrels of sherry. Train driver? Oh, I need to get on the train now. We are in the Villa Victorina Garden. The Villa Victorina is on the left side. This villa was the summer residence for the Gonzales. How they delivered those barrels on the back of that little bike, heaven alone knows. So this is the bodega which we call bodega de Apostas. And these, believe it or not, are barrels of sherry. To Edinburgh. And moving down here we have Edward, signed in 1927. There's the Duke of Kent. And over here, we have, no, no, it's not there. It's just, wait a minute, it's, no, it's just over. No, no, get back, it's round back that way. Half a bit, half a bit, left a bit. There we are. Cocteau, whoever he was. And down here, good old Winston Churchill. And up and left and down a bit, there's Picasso. It's classy stuff in here. Take it from there, Robert. That's right. Get the size of the room. What kind of Listen carefully for Robin's comment. It's been quite pleasant, you know. Here's the Sherry Festival. More sherry than you can shake a stick at. Little tents everywhere with every make imaginable on display. And most of it available for free if you can chat up the people behind the bar. This is the castle, I think, or possibly a palace. And this was somewhere where they did something wonderful with this huge piece of wood. And down there are some rather nice looking, I think I'll just zoom in for a better look. Yes, those are some really good pots down there. And coming back up, here come the boys. What's it say, Rob? It says, Anyone caught the video camera here? Isn't it beautiful, Dan? Is it 
two lovely smiles to these gentlemen, and then I will pan around to the courtyard. Oh, no, no, wait, 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 let me zoom in on those faces. Look at that. And back out again, quickly. Somewhere inside the castle or palace or whatever it was, we discovered this room. It's a pharmacy. It's a legendary place because this, believe it or not, is where they developed Keith Luker's Wee Wee Bills. You can see some of the equipment used, and there's some more there. Have he filled all those up in one morning? We'll never know, but he managed it. And over the other side, here we see the containers, which still contain to this day some of the samples which Keith so kindly donated, and in such quantity. It was a breathtaking effort for him, but for us, we rest assured in the knowledge that Keith no longer has a problem in that direction. Well, just look at all that ear here cascading down the face. It's going to be Robin. This is a church. You've got to take a video of the church. Sadly, the door was locked, so God wouldn't let us in to offer a word of prayer or even seek advice. But there you go. Everybody needs some time off sundown. All right, you want to record a few words for Adrian and Keith? And Roger? No, I was going to leave Roger out. So you're a lousy liquor, really, aren't you? Here we see Robin returning empty-footed from yet another shoe shop. Robin asked me to do this. I wonder why. <laughs> I'll just get the legs, Rob, is that all right? Hello. Said the clown. Uh -huh. Who are we talking to tonight? Yeah, who is it behind the lens? Who's taking this video? No, I can never see him. <laughs> the lens is so big. Let's I was never here. Oops. I recognize that voice. Oh, muy buenas tardes, bella dama. Buenas tardes, caballero con capa y sombrero. Would you care to tell us then, Lord, how we've arrived at this restaurant with the same waiter appearing for the third time? It's amazing. And why why isn't we it? don't care? <laughs> well, why we don't care is quite easy. You're <laughs> drunk. <laughs> right, why would that be then? Uh, well, free sherry. What a place to come to, eh? It is good, I have to say. Yeah. I can't remember why, I've had too much free sherry. <laughs> yes, we shouldn't have had the four beers beforehand. No, suppose. that was probably a bad move. Yes, but, uh, yes very enjoyable day. Gracias. I've, um, I can't remember any more about it. Oh, okay. Oh. And Robin's dad was just like the sherry and brandy, it seems. Yeah. And Robin knows more about this than anybody, so we'll just zoom in on Robin. How have you been? It's fantastic. Listen, listen, mi amigo. I don't have Hello, this. wait a minute. There's a crisis uh, arisen. Wait. In the food department. Yeah, that's it. Two. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wonderful! What a wonderful, Hello, wonderful sir. evening. Viewers at home would have noticed that Robin chooses his meal off the menu by using pictures rather than words. Let, let me just tell you that Stephen. You're live on. Am I live? Yeah. Stephen made us pay 24 euros for a glass, which we haven't used, because we got a plastic glass, which is free of charge, and everywhere we go, they fill it up. And I've had so many of these. <laughs> The evidence you from somebody who has drunk so many of those is clearly worthless. <laughs> if you've drunk that many of those, your evidence just does not hold any water or even sherry at all. <laughs> it's very good in the toilets. Yes, I As an emergency. I don't think you want to know that. <laughs> That's the one.
here's the uphill bit. This has got to be Casares. By the time you get to the top of this, your hip replacement requirements have increased fivefold. Look at the young ones going up. Here's some of the steps. You can see they go up a bit, and then they go up a bit more, and they turn slightly, go around to the right, and up it still further. And at the very top, well, they're looking a bit tired now. And there's the church. Refurbished while we've been visiting Casares. Looks good now. And just in case there are a few empty slots in the graveyard, in case the journey to the top has been so punishing, you can't really find the means to get back down again. Action! Window! Oh! Oh, taking the longer review. Oh. That's better, but not there. It's still too hard. There's too much muscle. No, same again. Let's just zoom in. Cordoba, a gateway into the old city. Beautiful place and a beautiful day. Here's a doorway into the cathedral, one of the most impressive buildings I think I've ever seen. A mix of two cultures, fascinatingly joined. Inside are all these arches. I wonder why they chose those two colours. I'm not quite sure. Sort of pink and white. Ceilings are pretty spectacular though. That took a lot of artex to get that done. And here's some more arches. They're still pink. And in the middle of all that strange mosque stuff is this amazing cathedral bit. Anything you can do the Roman Catholics can do better by the look of things. Again, heavily relying on Artex in massive quantities, but the arches are still there. There's the altar. I didn't have a black and decker back then, Rob, you're quite right. Just a bucket and a trowel. Here's a view on the old Roman bridge, sweeping round to look back towards the cathedral. 
Very impressive. On the other side of the bridge, you can look back and see the old Roman part underneath the modern wall to stop people falling in. Then he's big. He's big for the around about there. <laughs> this is going to be unwatchable. <laughs> uh, uh, useful bit of video for hypnotherapy. And behind us, I can scoot round here. Thank you. Yes, Romans temple. And even the Romans had to have somewhere to keep their chariots. <laughs>